What's up, YouTube family? Welcome back to another video. It, uh, it's the beginning of prep, okay? And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Today, um, the past few days, actually, have been so busy for work. I have been running around like a maniac. And so I look a mess. Uh, my skin is breaking out. I have been picking at my face. I have pimple patches on. I mean, you're not going to get much more unedited and raw than this, honestly. Um, prep has been going really, really well. I cannot complain about that. I will say my meal plan is exactly the same as it was last time. But for some reason, this time, it feels a little bit easier. Um, I think mentally, I'm in a better place also. I'm just like ready to do this. I'm ready to get my fit body back. I'm ready to look like an athlete. I'm ready to go through the whole process and i think that's really what's making the difference is that i'm very very excited and very motivated it has been a long time since i got ready for a competition i think in total it's like six or seven months and i know in the grand scheme of things that doesn't sound like a very long time um but yeah it's been a long time and i'm just i'm ready to go i started prep on the first today is the ninth i believe so we're about nine days in um, I've already dropped a significant amount of weight in the first week. That is because my activity increased and my diet got super cleaned up. So a lot of the weight that I have lost has been inflammation. Um, definitely a lot of water. I was eating. I got a little bit too happy with my off-season eating. And I was at a point where I was getting a little bit too comfortable and just kind of slacking, honestly. So I'm glad to be back on a structured routine. I really, really want to vlog this whole prep for you guys because this could be the prep where we go to nationals. Now, let me tell you something about nationals and how I feel about it and what it's all about. Nationals is basically all of the overall winners or the winners of their individual classes for all of the shows are nationally qualified. So it's pretty much the best of the best on a local level. And that's really who you're competing against at nationals. And that makes me nervous for a plethora of reasons. So number one, obviously because as athletes, right, we're always our own biggest critic. And I am very objective when it comes to my body and I know what my shortcomings are. And I know more or less what these girls that are competing at nationals are looking like. And there's just some things that I am not entirely confident in my current physique with. And I'll get more into that as we go further along and I get to show you guys more of like my body and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm just like, are you sure? You know, um, that's kind of how I feel about it. But I am excited to give it a try and just go face some bigger competition, see where I stand, get feedback from national level judges and just see what I truly need to focus on because I do want to do this long term. I do want to become a professional athlete. Of course, everybody wants that and everybody's goal that is taking this as a serious sport, of course, wants to be the best in the world and compete against the best in the world and get to the Olympia stage someday. And of course, I do too. I'm no exception to that. But um, I just, I'm very nervous about just the whole experience because I know that it's going to be unlike any other show that I've ever done. Just the amount of competitors that are going to be at the national show, it's going to be unreal. So um, yeah, we're a little nervous, but I'm ready to do the work. I'm really excited. I can't wait to just prove to myself that I can do this and prove to myself that I have the grit to get myself through this prep. And right now, it's funny because I'm really enjoying this first week of prep. Like, I'm really just having a great time with my meals and my routine, like I was saying. And I know that there's going to be times where I'm going to absolutely question every part of this. There are times where I just wonder, like, what am I doing this for? You know, this is so hard and I have so much to juggle and I have so much to do. But I never really lose sight of that goal. And I'm excited. I'm excited to be in this place. I have stuff all over my shirt. Sorry. Um, I'm excited to be in this place again and feel motivated and have a goal. So 
I do work best when I have a time-based deadline. I think a lot of people do, but I really, really just like love to be on a structured plan and uh, have that extra pressure to actually adhere to my plan because of course off season is also a structured plan, but because we're in off season and you know, we don't have that deadline, it's easy to get distracted and to kind of just be like, oh, a little bit here and a little bit there. And then before you know it, you are very heavy. So my goals for myself during this prep are to be present, really enjoy every single moment. And that's why I really want to vlog this for you guys too, so that I can look back and see from week one how it went. And also to just embrace the shitty parts of it. Embrace the fact that we're going to be hungry. Embrace the fact that there's going to be times where we're going to be exhausted. Take as much care of myself as I can during this process. Just remember that I'm doing this for me and I'm doing this for a reason and no one can do it for me. And uh, that I chose this it was like the most important thing. And that helped really helped me last time too, that I had really tough mental moments. It's like, you chose to do this, you know, nobody's making you do it. So I'm choosing this, I'm choosing myself and I'm really excited to get this show on the road. So um, if I remember, I'll put in a clip of my last check-in or my next check-in because I have a check-in on Friday. Today is Tuesday or no, sorry, today is Wednesday. So check-in on Fridays and I don't know what I'm going to put into this vlog, but we're going to pick it up wherever and um, I'm just excited to have you guys along for the ride again. I know that I've been MIA from YouTube for a minute, but it is just so time consuming, honestly, you guys, um, that I've just had to take a step back because I've had a lot of personal things going on and with work and a lot to figure out. But we're back, we're here, and I'm going to do my best to document this for you and for me. So, yeah. With that being said, I got to get back to work. So as you can see, obviously I am driving. So I'm going to focus on that and then I'll catch you guys on whatever I decide to record next, which I don't know what it'll be, but I'll see you later. Okay, so it's Saturday morning and um, my house is an absolute mess. My kitchen is a mess, but I'm going to show you guys what I take in the mornings. And I'm also gonna get my breakfast ready because um, basically I have to eat oatmeal, but for some reason right now, I'm not liking a hot oatmeal. I'm really into um, like overnight oats type oatmeal, cold oats. So I'm gonna prep that and let it sit for a little bit in my fridge and so it can soak up the milk, which I don't know if you know, but overnight oats doesn't necessarily have to be overnight. You can do it in just a couple of hours, but I gotta take out a couple other things that I drink in the morning. And I normally don't have time to do this and show you guys because I'm running out the door, but today I do. So let me put some of this stuff down and then I'll show you what I take first thing in the morning. Okay, I have you guys set up on my cabinet. So the first thing that I need to take, first I need to get a glass. So give me a sec. So we got a glass. I'm gonna put some water in there. Then I'm whispering because everybody's sleeping, so. Okay, so here's some water. Now I take my scale, just ignore all my dishes back there. And, okay, 
first thing that I take is some aloe vera juice. I have this giant jug and I take two ounces of this in the morning. This helps with digestion and stuff like that. So I go ahead and take two ounces of this. So I set my scale to fluid ounces. And then I just put measure out two. Okay, and then, um, I also take chlorophyll in the mornings, just one, one tablespoon, so I just go ahead and eyeball that. Put that in there, and then I take that in the morning before I start my day, along with all of my fasted supplements. So I have these little pill dividers and it's supposed to be for every single day of the week but i have one for every single day because i just take so many supplements so the little sunday compartment at the beginning of the week is my fasted stuff and then i just go ahead and take it's just like a handful of stuff uh i take it with this aloe and chlorophyll water so and i do take all my pills at the same time i know that's kind of weird but So I do find that the days that I take that, my digestion is so much better. Um, when I forget, I can I can honestly feel a difference. I've been taking that for so long since my last prep. So I take that every single day. Now I'm gonna prep my oatmeal um, and I'm gonna show you guys. Maybe I'll bring it down so you can see what I'm measuring. But let me just put this stuff away. frozen strawberries maybe I'll just leave you here because it's just easier I have my oats this week has been so crazy you guys that's why my everything is a wreck like all this stuff needs to go into the dishwasher I mean not this I just took out to take that stuff out Dishes. It's basically just it's a mess. So I also have some protein powder, and then I like to put salt and um, sweetener. I'm supposed to be using Truvia, but honestly, I use Splenda because I just prefer the taste. So I put three sweetener packets in it, and I gotta get the salt and the cinnamon. So I'm gonna go do that, and then I'll show you the measurements. Okay, so I got my bowl. So here's my bowl, it says ramen, but we're using it for oatmeal. I got some salt and some cinnamon. So I'm gonna put my bowl on my scale and then I'm just gonna measure out my oatmeal. I get 85 grams of oats for now, which I know is a lot, but that I eat that every single day. only get half a scoop of protein so I measure that out also actually it's a little less than half a scoop I find too that when you eat your oats cold um, you can taste everything better like when I cook my oatmeal and then I add the protein to it, you almost can't taste the sweetness. I feel like I have to sweeten it a lot more, so I don't I don't really like that. This is the MRE, the Redcon MRE light in vanilla ice cream or something like that. Vanilla milkshake. It's pretty good. So then I'm gonna go ahead and add some cinnamon. This is Vietnamese cinnamon. I alternate between Cylon and this one. So I add some of that and then I'm gonna add my three Splenda packets. I'm gonna shake in some salt 
and I just like the salt because I think it enhances the flavor of the oatmeal otherwise it's a pretty land so this is what we're looking like just like a pile of powdery stuff I'm gonna add some water and we're gonna stir I'll just mix it up. I, I know this angle is not the best, but my tripod's in the car. Okay, so now that that's stirred together, and it kind of looks like you know it's just regular oatmeal, um, I'm gonna add my strawberries i only get a few strawberries because we're obviously in prep so um you know everything's measured So that and then now I'll just put that in the fridge and let that sit there and then when I'm ready to eat it I'll make my egg whites that go along with this but this is pretty much meal number one um I just took my supplements so I'm probably gonna make myself a coffee and wait a little bit and then I'll have everything else and um yeah that's it yeah, that's meal one and I'm gonna try to clean stuff up here get myself ready a little bit and I'll probably check in with you guys at the gym or something but yeah so i got an exercise bike for christmas and it's currently like 9 30 and i haven't done my cardio for today yet so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now and um just hop on the bike and maybe i'll do a little time lapse of that for you so you could watch my speed through of my spin class look at this mess you guys i'm telling you we're gonna clean it up but i'm gonna go ahead and do this and then i don't know what else i'm gonna get into tonight but let's hop on the bike All right, guys, it's Sunday, and we put together our new bed, so I am actually laying in it right now, and um, this is exciting because it took us a whole year to get a bed. I just, we've been prioritizing other stuff, and um, just didn't get around to it, like, honestly. Competing is so expensive, and, like, so expensive, and when we moved, we had a bed that we got rid of and we were like well we'll just get another bed when we move in at some point you know whatever um and then we just never got around to it 
we I had competition season I had other expenses that I had to kind of prioritize so the bed was last we saw our mattress so we had it on the floor and it worked for us but we finally have a bed and I could not be more excited so laying in bed a little bit it is late it is 1 30 in the afternoon I did leave my house already to go do um, something for work but I came back I had one meal and then I'm just now having some coffee and this mug is so cute it says gym and tonic hold on let me see if I could show you it's backwards probably but yeah uh, so I'm having some coffee and just made my grocery list we're gonna get ready to head out to the grocery store in a little bit here so I will show you that we're gonna train today we have to go to a few different stores which is good because I really need to get my step count in and then that's it got to do some meal prepping tonight so a couple things to do on Sunday <sighs> but I'm just glad that we have a bed to lay in so um, I'm gonna hang out here for just a little longer finish my coffee and then get myself ready for the day and take you guys with me and we'll see what we get up to <laughs> Went to the gym now we're at the grocery store getting some stuff ready for the week and we have a couple stores to go to this is my grocery list which looks like I got eaten by the dog but yeah um, we're just gonna walk around here I'm glad that there's nobody here right now because I get severe anxiety from the grocery store being full of people like I cannot stand it people are just like all over you they like don't say excuse me and they like pull up really close to you so I hate that um, so there's nobody here, so I'm gonna go through the grocery store. I'll show you what we get, and then I'll show you the other stores we go to, too. Okay, we're back from the grocery store. Let me just show you really quickly what I got for myself. I bought more stuff, but it wasn't all for me, so I'm just gonna show you the stuff that I'm gonna be eating, because of course I'm not eating everything. So two boxes of Splenda packets. I don't like stevia. I do cut down on this a lot when I get closer, but for now, Splenda. I'm gonna have it and it's gonna be okay. Um, zero grams of sugar, less than one gram of carbs in this one. So we're all good with that. I got some flank steak for now. I got steak in my last meal. So I got this for myself. This will probably only be three meals for me. So that's that for now. And then one of the grocery stores that I went to was having um, a huge sale on all these sauces. They were like 50% off. So we got some of this hot sauce, zero calories. We got some of the Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce Mild. This one has 15 calories, but I won't use that much of it probably. This is like a seasoning slash marinade. Also has 15 calories. Um, got some onion powder and some ground cinnamon. I really needed the cinnamon, but they were buy one, get one free. So I got both. And then these were 50% off. This my boyfriend wanted to try some Carolina style Barbecue sauce, this has 30 calories per serving, which still isn't bad. And this is G Hughes sugar-free honey barbecue sauce. And this was on sale for like $2. So two tablespoons for 10 calories. So we got all of that to spice up all of our food and everything. And then we did buy some sugar-free syrup because I like to add this into my 
coffee. We got the mocha and the caramel. This isn't the brand that we normally get, but they didn't have that one, so we just got what they had. Moving on, I got some avocados. I eat one of these every single day and I still have some from last week. I did get a little six pack of Diet Coke, the mini ones. Um, again, I only have these rarely. Like if I really need one, I'll have one because of the sweeteners and all that kind of stuff. We got some 96.4 lean ground beef, extra lean ground beef. I got two pounds of that, that's gonna be for this week. I got zucchini and squash cut up. Uh, this is all they had. I have zucchini on my plan, but it's gonna be fine. The macros are so similar. I buy it pre-cut because it's so much easier and where I'm getting it at, the whole zucchini is like $3 a pound anyways. Um, but and then they're huge. So it's like $3 for just one of them and then I have to cut it up. So I'm like, whatever, that's fine. Two uh, trays of 99% fat-free lean ground turkey. We got some eggs. These are not for me. These are for my boyfriend, but organic cage-free eggs. I got these pickles from Aldi, and they are so good. They're fresh kosher dills. I got those. And then some chicken breast and some of this for my boyfriend to have. And that's pretty much it. Now I have to prep all this stuff and go do some cardio. Mm -hmm.